it looks like you just had it with the squirrel and we're just trying to kill it and hack down all the bushes. No, I just needed to trim it, but it was also because the squirrel used those. <laughs> I'm in a war with a squirrel. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions to eating some Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, 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 more juicy It's so content. juicy. Thanks on Patreon. Follow us, mm. put account link above. Okay, squad, bang! It's also in person. You should the description below. Dare you. Hey, we're doing a movie review. And I'm assuming you already saw the title of this. Long time coming for this one. Um, but... I think we're the first to actually do a review of this film. No. No? Mm -hmm. I think we're the first ones to ever see this film. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think anybody's seen this film. This is gonna make Cajole and SRK big stars. <laughs> I think so. I got good vibes. <laughs> but we are reviewing DDLJ or how do you what do you how do you actually say it? Uh Delwale Dohania Lejanga. And I think that was a song in it. Too. And I know I'm mispronouncing that. Uh but directed and written by Ad Aditya. Aditya, Aditya Chopra. Chopra. Uh Delwale and... Dohania Le Lejanga. Jayenga. And then I I produced by Yash Chopra, starring uh, some unknown. Shahrukh! Shahrukh Khan. Uh, Kajol. Kajol. Uh, uh, another up and coming actor, Amrish Puri. Amrish Puri. I think he's going to be a big star someday. <laughs> and then a whole bunch of other people, but those are probably the three main ones, I suppose. Um, but uh, is this a spoiler? Harmeet <laughs> Sethi. <laughs> There's every single one of these. I think everybody, Phil. Pretty much everybody in the cinematic universe has seen this film except us. Yeah, and so now we have. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Um, drum roll. Okay, go. It's like Hajmola. <laughs> That's what I thought you wanted it. Yeah, it was part of it. It, it, was, it. was. I had a twofold. I had a twofold reason for the Hajmola. And the yeah. first one was I was going to eat some Hajmola mm -hmm. and say that's the movie because I I am so thankful for you stupid babies and the core of the stupid family who knew to wait. Yeah. Because if I had seen this even six months ago, mm. I would have responded to it differently yeah. than I did now. Just now. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Because... But did you end up enjoying it in the end? Yes. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I Okay. But let me, let me give some caveats here, okay? I literally um, built us up to this film. And I said, because I knew we were going to watch one of their SRK Cajole films at one point. And I, so I basically said, go in with no expectations and just like, you're going to enjoy this film. Right. Just, just try to enjoy it and take your critic hat off. And I'm very glad I did that <laughs> because that's how I was able to enjoy this. There was parts that strained me. <laughs> oh, I was strained. <laughs> that, I was strained. That I was like, if they were out of there, I probably would have actually loved the film, honestly. Yeah, uh, it, it stretched me. Um, but it, I ended up liking the film and enjoying it as a romantic film. And I was I, at the end, me and my wife turned to her like, that was a fun rom-com. I enjoyed yeah. that one. Yeah. Uh, it's, it, <laughs> we're not talking any... Cause, it's always confusing for some people when they're like, we like this film, or we didn't like this film. Right. Every film's graded on a different thing. A, a comedy like, like let's say, um, uh, Hot Rod is, I think, an A-plus comedy. That doesn't mean that in another A-plus film, The Godfather, right. are, are like equal films. Correct. But they can be judged differently and still both be A's in their respective tiers. Exactly. That's why on my list of all-time favorite films... 30 to 40% of those mm -hmm. have never been nominated for a thing. Yeah. So I just wanted to preface it with that so yeah. that you guys can understand where we're coming from and why we enjoyed the film. Yeah. Uh, but let's talk about the acting first. Yeah. Uh, Kajol. Loved her. Yeah. I, she was probably almost my favorite part of this film. In no, she is my favorite part of the film. She Taking was, nothing away from SRK, yeah. Kajol's my favorite he part did, of the film. She did so well. Yep. She had so much chemistry and so much screen presence. Yep. I'm excited to see a lot more of her because I thought she just did, she knocked this one out of the park. I absolutely agree. I was, every moment she was on screen, I was happy. Mm -hmm. uh, so much so that I had to do a research thing and I wasn't surprised to find out that her dad is a Bengali. His name is Mukherjee. 
Oh, is he? Yeah. Um, I just, there was this quality about her, especially a farther away shot. There were times I was looking at her, I was like, man, very reminiscent a lot of Indrani, which obviously I have an endearment toward anything that reminds me of Indrani. But beyond that small endearment, yeah. just her capacity to have an incredible screen presence, which is the X factor that nobody can create. You just, you have it or you don't. And the two of them together mm -hmm. are two great. X factors. They have great chemistry. They're just and great together. I see what everybody's talking about. They have just something, what they talk about, that's why they do screen tests for films. Yes. They see who has good chemistry. And these yep. two just, their chemistry is off the charts. I know a lot of people said they were, like when they were kids, they were very upset to find out they weren't actual real couple. Right. Do you and, know who her husband like, is? Hers? No. Who? AJ Devgun. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Have a they long did... time they've been married. I'm assuming they've done a film together. Which film is it? That's a good question. I would I, like to see them together. They probably have great chemistry. But yeah, I think they've been married since like 99. Oh, speaking of uh, chemistry, remember Dilda Hucknadu, um had Ranveer and her had good chemistry? Yeah. It's because they dated for a long time. Oh, well, there, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, that was just the so, random thing I figured anyway, out after the review. Yeah, I... I thought I, she did a I thought she did a great job. I thought that she played everything... Uh, she was the, one of my favorite moments with her was she didn't even have a line. It's SRK talking to the mom, talking to the mom. Yeah, I thought the same thing. And she's just sitting there in the moment and being very believable, listening and genuine emotion. And I thought this is what her better moments in the movie right now. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And so it was really fun. Shah Rukh Khan, I thought did a did a good job. Like I said, he has a good chemistry. He was probably the one, the part of the film that was the hardest to get into. I when get, he was, when he was that, then when he was the big right. I, I liken it to Rajasthanalism in that character that we saw in Rajasthanalism in terms of he was just well, and they'll say he was that the whole yeah. film. He was extremely over the top in the parts where he was supposed to be the, the the quirky, the quirky jokester, bad boy, bad jokester, boy. Yeah. and the the, I the to hit him. The, yeah, the dubbing sound oh. didn't, didn't help, nor did his. And I know it's an endearing thing. But there were some times when he, he, <laughs> yeah, 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 I was yeah, like, the... yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I was talking about. If, if I, I think I yelled out at multiple times. I'm like, I just, just bring it down. <laughs> 20 notches, please, Shah Rukh Khan. I'm, I want to love this film, but please. That's what I loved yeah. in this film compared to say like Dulce. Yeah. Is that in this film. It was, he, more, it was endearing. He, there were moments. It was very obvious to me that what he was doing were clearly choices that he wanted and the director wanted. It wouldn't surprise me if on set he did stuff and the director said, I need more, I yeah. need it bigger. Because in the dramatic moments- Oh, he was good. I enjoyed it. It was grounded. Yeah. It reminded me of them in, in My Name is Cod. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I thought he did it, like those parts, like I'd say half the time. It's yeah. just the other half, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing that helped me in the same way that you said setting the, the, the hat to yeah. the side help, right? I gave him I gave him a long leash. Yeah. Another thing that helped me was I now have a frame of reference for this kind of film, which yeah. um I think I could go into most films now. Yeah. If if I know it's this style, I could be like, okay. I definitely do for a couple of reasons. And this one's special. We'll get into it in a second about why this one's more special than other of the Bollywood films. Yeah. And the thing that helped me was, before, as I was watching it or right as I started, and I don't know if I mentioned this to you, I thought, American cinema has something comparable. Mm. And it's the beach movies of the 1960s. Elvis. Elvis, Frankie Avalon, yeah. uh, Annette Finicello, yeah. the beach movies. Yeah. They're terrible, mm -hmm. but I love them. Yeah. They're not on my favorite lists, yeah. but if it's on TV, I would watch it just because it's so funny and campy and stupid. Stupid. Yeah, this falls into that category. For yeah, me. in in some aspects for sure. This definitely overall, the songs were just phenomenal. I, I loved. We, Beautiful. We've wonderful. seen a few of them, um, and they were like the ones where him and Kajol, she's drunk. Great song. Uh, then it. then uh, there was I think even <laughs> he's the greatest piano player I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I put in my notes when he was pounding, I put in the notes, it's better than Underhunt. 
But then he started to play. Yeah. And I went, yeah, no, I, I raced it. <laughs> but, like, I was like, okay, so this is weird. I was like, that's kind of a funny moment. And then he literally went into, like, he's the one of the... The actual co- play. And greatest, I thought that was a great song. I thought a lot of the songs, and that's one of the things that, that kept this film running, is that, one, their chemistry was great. Um, Agreed. But then they, they kept bringing on songs Agreed. that were great. just so fun and so enjoyable to watch. And one of the reasons why, obviously, these films are so popular is because... You could just sit and watch these songs, and it's just fun to watch. Absolutely. As we said, every single 90 Shah Rukh Khan song yeah. is. He just does so well in them. Yep. Um, and so I, I, he was, if he was grounded, uh, like, I'm not saying, like, he needs to be, like, an Oscar-worthy performance, but if he was just, like, I'd say bring it down 10 notches on a lot of those parts, I probably could have loved this film. Yeah, but... I yeah. ended up, I would like, enjoying this film, and I would watch it again. <laughs> it's just... He's the part that was like... But at the same time, mm-hmm. I think about it in the same way I think about um, some of the stuff in Rocky Horror. Tim mm. Curry aside, because Tim yeah. Curry's Tim Curry. Yeah. I mean the other folks, like yeah. Susan Sarandon, yeah, yeah, for young sure. Susan Sarandon, yeah. where looking back at it, I bet if I watched this over and over again, I'd be like, nah, I kind of like him this stupid. Yeah, maybe. I, like, there was a point when it just got over the top, he goes into the room with them, where they check into the room and he uh, before the drunk song. Yeah. And he dives head first into the <laughs> bed. And then he's got his face in the blanket and he just he's doing this. <laughs> and then his he sees the dad and he's got the the, the lassie. He's you you want the sweet one, the sweet one, the salty 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 I also think it might have been better if they had sync sound. Like actual set, because yeah, but better. His, his, yeah, his was the worst though. It was, but I it, don't know why his was the worst. But I, it's kind of part of what. It's so bizarre. It's like Hajmola. Yeah. It's like the thing I first tasted and went, that is the one of the worst things I've ever put in my mouth. And then later on, I put it in. I'm like, hmm. But that's mostly just hmm. Him in the film that's like Hajmola. Yeah, compared to Cajole doesn't do that. The rest of the film isn't all that oh, bad. And uh, Amrish Puri. Amrish Puri. My I love it. <laughs> Multiple times. I thought he was going to rip somebody's heart out of him. Yeah. <laughs> Did too. If yeah. you know, if you know that reference. That's a compliment, guys. Yeah. Don't now, start going off on Temple of Doom. We know him we from know. The Temple of Doom. But that was our first exposure and to And the him. big eye thing, which he gets all angry, yes. makes me think he's just going to rip somebody's heart All out. we knew him from, all of our lives before this channel, was Kalima. That's all we knew. And we've seen him in a few just recently. Yes, so he was need, great. We need to get on a banjo. I thought he did a great job. Great he, job. He was easily, 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 easily unlikable. Uh, easily unlikable. Yeah. With a strong presence, and that takes me a good segue into the other thing about the film that I, I really liked, and I read up on the film mm-hmm. in terms of its history and its placement in Indian cinema. Oh, right, it's huge. So, the th- another thing I love about the film is that you gotta it, watch it just it's got history. heart. Yeah, it does. It really wants to convey some serious messages while it's being campy. Uh, whereas, for example, something like Greece is really just pure campiness. Mm-hmm. There's really not. It's just, not a big message. Just, no. Let's be happy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. This movie has several really strong messages. It's got that message about uh, love someone and and don't go into a life that you're being forced into that you don't want. Yeah. Very much uh, ahead of the curve in terms of. I love the moment when the mom watches her. And they're secretly, but yeah. she sees them eating and they wrap their arms and they're eating. And her first response is, oh, she can't be doing this. And then she remembers the things yeah. that she thought and said. And she's like, my daughter's not going to make the same mistakes. I, that's pretty the, powerful for a, a campy film. The mom, I, is, is it? Is yeah, it, she was great. Is it, what's her name? Uh, Farida Jalal. Is that her? I, yes, I believe she had played okay. the mom. She did a great job. Also, great, job. great character. Uh, well written. Well written. Uh, because it was very complex. Yep. She kind of like, she used to want to be this free spirit and then she kind of just got tied down into what society. Yes. Fortunately, she was like, I'm never going to let my daughter do this. And then she was like, oh, I'm letting my daughter do this. So it's like a. With. Mm-hmm. I, I read up the history on this and I'm sure we're just scratching the surface. But I know this was a turning point in Bollywood, and I saw it throughout the film, this um, reaching out to, for the terminology is the diaspora, the, the NRIs, NRIs, the Indians yeah. outside of India, especially in England, because that's a primary place that they first went, mm-hmm. and how consistently we would see and hear, we heard it from him, you know, at the very beginning, it opens with him, you know, feeding the birds. Yeah. 
and this combination of I can be in this place and love this place and not lose my Indianness. Yeah. And Shah Rukh said the same thing with his character, this constant sense of we can live in other parts of the world and embrace the places we live and never forget where we came from and never lose our Indianness. Yeah. And I, I understand that this film was a huge turning point, not just in Bollywood's reach to that audience that had gone out from India, but as a genre, like this is a genre shaping film in the history of Indian cinema. Also with Shah Rukh Khan, obviously this is what oh, yeah. transported him into super stardom. Yeah. This, this, this film. is his rock uh, shape. Yeah, this was like catapulted him into, and he's clearly gotten better as an actor. Yeah. Because I, mean, I think we've seen, unless I'm wrong, some of his best performances yeah. from what we've already seen of Shah Rukh Khan. But that, that's but why I like is, this. This is what... This is what he was made him. And I. Uh, this is why I like this more than I liked Dilse, because in Dilse it was mm -hmm. the, the quirky, over the top, all the time. Yeah. It was just always at a 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Well, he was at 100 but, at this film sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. But I was so grateful for the moments. And here's another interesting thing. I'm glad I saw this after mm -hmm. we saw... Uh, Amir. Akbar. Yeah. Yeah, Akbar Anthony. Yeah. Because... You, See, you got some masala in there. You did, yeah. but this pre that prepped me for this. Yeah, I really think that it, having seen that first, being so weird, being now. so weird. Yeah, for sure. This isn't as weird. No, it's not as weird. It definitely has some of those moments that, which you know, I loved uh, Amir Akbar Anthony for all those weird moments. But this had some of those unlogical moments. Yeah, but that, nothing like no, that. No, no, not, not like that. <laughs> that. That was all unlogical, and I yeah. loved it. But this had some of those that were just like you kind of just I. I, when I see those things now, I'm just like, oh, that's cool. I, I enjoy yeah. those unlogical moments, like the fact that they have a picture and you don't know who the fuck took that picture. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, there was no cameraman there right. in that moment. <laughs> but there's a perfect there's a back shot yeah. of them. And then the fact that like they get from one place to another in a lickety split, the dad comes within a day. Oh, yeah. Like there's so many things that just strain credulity that but you just don't care in this because that's like always, the beach movies yes yeah, it's, just like it's the kind of movies. the world that they set up yeah and you know i can see like if like if this is not your cup of tea and you, you're 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 expecting anything other than what this film is i can see how you could probably be like oh like if you're going in expecting like swadesh <laughs> You're going to be very disappointed. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> but that's a great comparison. Yeah. Because I see a lot of similarities of the heart of the films. Yeah. But, very, very but similar parts. That film is a lot more believable. Totally. In different. terms of it's everything's all yeah, it's natural, grounded. grounded. Uh, it's, it's all that story. It's like a this, true story. This is a pure Bollywood film. And that's where I go back to the Hajmola comparison. Because as we're being exposed, again, thank you, stupid family for teaching us and taking us on the journey because it, like hajmola or pan, there are some dishes that are really an acquired taste. Mm -hmm. And at first blush, my if I had if this had been the first movie we watched, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it would, I would have found nothing in it that I liked. Yeah, for sure. At all. You wouldn't understand what like, exactly what, what is going on. No, and I, yeah. it's it really is a great lesson in the appreciation of global cinema because you not only have to get past subtitles in global cinema, which when I say get past, that makes yeah. no sense to you and I, but one of the other things with, with each place in the world and each region in India is you need to understand something about the particularities, not only of that culture, but this is a, a genre of nowhere else in the world. Yeah. This I, is their, they made this genre. Yeah, and, and it's it's obviously a piece of <clears throat> Bollywood history in terms of this shaped a lot of what came after. Sure did. Bollywood. It, it, it turned, it was a giant turning point. Yeah, so I I, I enjoyed it. I would definitely watch it again. Oh, like, I would absolutely If it was it on, I'd be like, okay, cool. I'd be happy if it was on TV. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is one of those, like, and I know people are going to be very, it always happens. Like, you like this and you like, <laughs> guys. You can you can like other things for different reasons and don't like certain things because of different reasons. Yes. <laughs> and it's and fine even, if you hate this film. I don't care. And even disagree. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's one thing to say, okay, I like this and I didn't like that. And it's another thing to see awful cinematography and say it's good cinematography. Yeah. That's not what we're talking about. Yeah. We're talking about the overall genre, the story, the message, 
uh, the, the style of acting. In a film, and I can see why people love it. I can uh, absolutely see and why And I'm actually, I'm excited to watch more SRK Cajole. Uh, yeah, Cajole has, but I've, there's an endearing now in my heart for Cajole. And I know they did seven together. I want to uh, see them all. <laughs> so, it, I think we know, we have a parameter now, in terms of, I, I don't think I'd be afraid now. Yeah. If, if I'm like, okay, this is another SRK Cajole film, this is what I can expect. I would be excited for the rock. I absolutely. I'm not would. saying they will all be good. <laughs> and I, hey, how about the fact that I didn't know that there was another person who did a towel dance? Cajole does a towel dance in the yeah, beginning. Yeah, she does. Yeah, that yeah, was a little does, bit risque, which was, all, which was a fun. She's more risque than a, I think a lot of and the, I like the, it. the stars that we've yeah. seen. And so, yeah, let us know what's the next SRK and Cajole film together or separately. Yeah, uh, that we should. That I know there's um, the uh, the one with all of them. SRK, Cajole, Rithic. Karina. Right. And Didn't we see... Um, we've seen a bunch of songs. Yeah. A early on. Songs. Uh, well, in, and more recently, the, the the cringy Rithic one. Yeah, but wasn't one of our first ones a song and we're like, yeah, we don't know who they are. We don't know yeah. who they are. Yeah. Um, but I know that one, it's it's different in terms of, it's a big family melodrama. Ah. Oh. So it's it's not as, probably as happy as this mm. is. I don't know. But it's, it's equally as beloved. Uh, but I think... I don't know if that's going to be the next one, but I know going in what to expect now, and I think I would be excited, especially because Shower Khan just, he has such good songs. <laughs> he does. He has such good songs. And I'll tell you what, Kajol. again, the stuff to go back to, I, I will, some point down the road, after we've watched a couple of films with SRK, I'm going to go back and watch Dilsay again, mm. and I think I may have a barfy moment. Because remember when we first watched Barfi, I was like, eh, Ran Beer was, I just, I, it didn't hit me right. Then I saw it again. I was like, whoops, Maybe. my bad. I was wrong. I think I'll appreciate Maybe. him more. In but Dilsay. that one was, even though I, I enjoyed that film, I don't, it wasn't like anything amazing, I think is what I said. It was, I enjoyed the film as a whole, but it also wasn't 90s either. It wasn't like True. old. It was more newer. It and was so, newer, but it was that over the top. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to say I would do DevDos, but I don't know. I don't think I'm oh, I'll do DevDos Dev any day of the week. <laughs> Let us know what's the next uh, classic Bollywood Shah Rukh Khan Kajol film we should watch is. And uh, what was that? Uh, what was their their song? Oh, I was. I almost brought the guitar. Oh, yeah. I was going to bring the guitar and <laughs> play. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the theme that was constantly coming back. Yeah, yeah I was going to play it. Let that run in your brain. It's not this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know why we're ending out with that. <laughs>